Hey, peace world. Thanks for pressing playing another Pay Me No Mind sports and entertainment video. My name is Wood. I'm going to jump right into it, man. You saw what the title was. Love, or really love, I'm sorry. Uh, in my opinion, this started streaming on Netflix this past weekend. Uh, really, the only movie you should have been checking out that included a black painter, you know, with a fledgling career in the world of arts. Uh, you should have skipped Candyman saved your money and checked out really love. Uh, and I hate to pit these two projects against one another. Uh, they're really not nowhere, you know, near in, in, in similar lanes and whatnot, but just looking on, on, at some stuff online, some, some simple numbers online, the lack of attention to this movie, I think on IMDB, there's only like 14 total reviews on there. If you compare that to all the buzz, around, you know, the Jordan Peele Helm project, uh, Candyman, you know, this is, this is why movies like this can't get done on a regular basis. Um, but anyway, let's jump into the good stuff. Salute to the director, Angel Christy Williams. Shout out to the producers, Mel Jones, Charles D. King. I've seen his name before. Maybe I don't even want to guess what he was involved in. I thought, I thought I saw, some reason I'm thinking drumline with that name, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, another producer is Kim Roth, Aaliyah Williams, and then um, Angel Christy Williams is, uh, is is listed as a producer. It gets a producer credit as well. The writer is Felicia Pride and Angel Christy Williams uh, again. Uh, like I said, it re the release date for streaming was August 25th, 2021. The movie is uh, just over an hour and a half. It's uh, 95 minutes in length, and the length and the production company is Macro. Phenomenal cast here. Uh, Kofi Sirabo, I'm familiar with from Queen uh, Queen Sugar, which I've kind of fallen off from. I hate that I have uh, I had stuff going on, and, and and that series got away from me. But a wonderful series. Uh, Co-starring the female lead is Yutha or Yotha. You could probably pronounce that a number of different ways, but let's go with Yutha Wong Loa Singh. Uh, then also, you know, I know award-winning actress uh, Uzo Aduba from uh, Black is or Orange is the New Black, I believe. Uh, my man Mac Wiles, Tristan Mac Wiles, who played Michael in The Wire years ago. Powers Naturi Norton has a small bit, and then I thought I. I, I thought I recalled that Susan Douglas had passed a while ago. Uh, she plays Anne Solomon, um, uh, the lead female character's mother. Uh, rest in peace to Suzanne Douglas. Uh, she looks so lively in this movie, too. Had the short haircut going on with some color in it. Uh, I love the way she talks. She The way she either enunciates or pronounces her words are, is just very high level man and and she was a you know i always enjoyed her her she seems like someone who didn't get to do what she really you know to, to showcase everything that she brings to a screen because we don't have these types of movies and roles all that often due to due to the situation so anyway without further ado man the story is very it's a it's a it's a um it's a romance it's very similar to different elements of Sophie's Love that came out last year on Amazon Prime. It's it's he had it's shoulder to shoulder with with um with uh one of my all-time favorite movies in in Love Jones with um damn I can't even think of my man's name Nia Long and um Hey, my little dude, uh, I can't think of it. It'll come to me in a second. But it's 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 right there with that movie. Uh, I mean, it's 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 almost like we just got the updated or the sequel to uh, Candyman. This movie is 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 a is damn near a sequel to uh, to Love Jones, Darius Love Hall, and I still cannot think of the actor's name. I know it starts with the L. But anyway, um. I enjoyed the movie, man. I mean, it, it's it's kind of quiet. Uh, not a lot of special effects. Very authentic storytelling. It's set in Washington, D.C. I think the cast, uh, 
I think they do a phenomenal job. Shout out to everybody who got involved and probably, you know, made some exceptions to even be involved in this thing. But Michael Ely is in it. Again, Uzo Aduba is a uh, an award-winning actress. I'm sure it's, it, it, take, it costs a lot to have her involved. But I think, um, you know, with, with, with people like uh, Aduba and uh, Michael Ely being involved, it adds a lot of cachet to the project. And then, you know, Sarah Boo is, 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 is Blair Underwood is in here. Um, I really like the movie. So it's, it's about, it's about a young couple um, that kind of stems off from a, a group of, of, of friends, you know, uh, which is very similar to Love Jones with, the, with the brother that uh, Darius Love Hall, the, the cat that was giving him advice and he was married, <clears throat> Mac Wilds and um, another very lovely newcomer newcomer in Jade Achete, who plays like the, uh, she's on Billions. She plays like the uh, the PR specialist for, for uh, Axe Capital. She's a, she's a great, she has a great energy and I, I, I like her. Uh, so, I'm a fan of the cast itself before I even get to the story. But, um, of course, you know, this, this couple meets, they're in totally different directions or, you know, career paths. He's a struggling artist. Um, she's a, a student at Georgetown, uh, law school. So she's, uh, you know, heading down, uh, the path of being, um, you know, being in a lucrative, a career field such as law, uh, but she is kind of on the fence with, you know, going to a, and being a high profile or, you know, doing, taking cases that, that bring in money versus, you know, being a lawyer that helps people and, you know, and, and so she's, she's there. And then, like I said, Kofi uh, Sirabo is trying to break through as an artist and um, of course, you know, as they they meet, the physical attraction is there immediately, and then they have some nice conversations. Uh, and we don't see that in the, we don't see that in the black community. We we don't even we don't even waste a lot of time with courtship and dating. And I just thought it was real warm. You know, they had some you know lunches out in the, in the park, a lot of hand holding. Uh, She's getting to know how he thinks and, and, and what his makeup is as a creative and as an artist. And, and at first, she doesn't expect to have any time for him or a relationship because law school is so challenging. But of course, um, you know, she's interested. They hit it off. Uh, things escalate pretty quickly. But I like how the relationship was paced. And... Um, and then, of course, she offers to move him in. Of course, we got to have the meeting with mom and dad. We get a quick setting with, uh, we get a quick scene with Isaiah. Kofi Sirabo plays Isaiah. Uh, Wan, Wong Law, Wong Lawa Singh plays Stevie, who's named after Stevie Wonder. Uh, her family is rich. Her father is Blair Underwood and the aforementioned Suzanne Douglas. They're rich and have all these lofty expectations for their daughter who's attending Georgetown. And then on the other hand, Isaiah, his father is a blue collar dude. Uh, you know, his parents, I believe, were still together. And his dad is pushing him to go out. His dad makes a comment to him like, bruh, I hope you ain't out here falling in love with being broke. You know, I hope you ain't. I hope you're not getting comfortable with not having money and not being, in, you know, independent. Um. Uh, so that's the dynamic there between the backgrounds for both, you know, the both lead characters. Uh, Yusef Davis plays, like I said, the same character. What was his name? Savan in uh, Love Jones. He's an accomplished artist already. He only has a couple of scenes where he comes in and mentors uh, Isaiah and tells him, hey, at the end of the day, man, I don't care how talented you are and, 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 and what your peers were doing at the, the art school that you attended. He was like, man, it's cutthroat out here and I've made it and you have to make it. You got to make it happen. You got to focus on your thing. You got to find whatever is going to be your muse 
and and and, and create from that from that inspiration. And it happens to be Stevie. You know, it starts the relationship with Stevie starts pushing his art. And then he's also competing because he's he's selling his art in um Uzo Aduba's gallery. And she's very she's pushing him, you know, to 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 create a body of work or enough pieces for her to move him from being a part of a show to him having his own solo show, like him making his own album if he was a rapper or MC. And as he gets pushed, he needs to make this happen. And so he's even as once he moves in with Stevie, of course, he starts spending more and more time at the studio trying to become what he needs to be. We saw this with uh, Disappearing Acts, with, uh, I can't think of nobody's name, uh, Sanaa Lathan and uh, Nino Brown. <laughs> I cannot think of anybody's name. Uh, but it, we've we've seen a lot of these similar, you know, these 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 uh these arcs and, and these familiar relationship things, and they grow. Stevie and and, and um, Isaiah grow to find it difficult to fit each other in their world and what they're and where they're trying to go. And of course. Isaiah starts to pop. He loses focus of, of who was his muse and the relationship that got him creating the art that he creates. And he he he, he kind of shuts off from the relationship. And, if, and, and, and the interesting thing here, like Love Jones, is the fact that Nina left Chicago to go to New York, I believe, for a job. And she was in the she was the corporate world person while Darius was writing a book and was kind of the Renaissance man. And um, here Stevie is leaving DC to go to a powerful law firm in Chicago. And she asked him the same question that Nina asked Darius. Do you want me to go? <laughs> Do you want me to go? And Isaiah thinking he's encouraging her to do the right thing for her to, you know, his thing is happening. So don't hold her back. And he even asked her, like, well, how do we make that work? Earlier in the movie, they were working out together and jogging together and all the, experiencing all these foods together, little foodie type stuff. Uh, Go-Go scene in D.C. Go-Go was it, or reggae was a part of it. All the parallels are there. Uh, Tr and like I said, Tristan um, Mack owns a, a, a nightclub of sorts that has like live bands and whatnot. So like I said, all it's all the same familiar scenery and, and uh, you know, flavors and all of that, but it, it still works. I enjoyed the movie. Um, and then we get to the point where after that big question, Stevie is tired of being, you know, marginalized and coming second to his art. And mom, her mother is telling her like, you know what? He's always going to love his art first. But then our mother, who doesn't really approve of, of uh, definitely didn't approve of them, of them shacking up. Um, but she tells her one dope thing that she said there was another, she admits that or reveals there was another love before her husband, Blair Underwood, played by Blair Underwood. And she said it was another dude. I don't know if he was in music or something. And she goes through this story, but she, she goes she she goes against what you would expect in mom. And she was like, if I had a chance to, even though I love your father and we made you, she's like, if I had it to do all over again with pursuit, with trying to make that other uh, teenage love or young love work, she was like, I would have done it again. And so that 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 you know puts a certain idea or gives uh Stevie whatever type of affirmation that she's looking for but she takes the job and goes to Chicago because Isaiah of course gets out of pocket on on some stuff um but anyway just like in in Sophie's love and 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 and, and love Jones of course these two cross paths again Isaiah has his own solo show in Chicago of course Stevie brings another brother out to the show in a mod. They have a, a you know a, the three the three of them have this awkward conversation, and then um, somehow or another Isaiah does invite Stevie to come back 
to DC for uh, a so his I think it's his second solo show at least at U Aduba's uh, gallery, and he says it's something very special that I need you to see. So she comes back. Big spoiler here. Uh, she comes back, leaving the Ahmad brother, you know, back in Chicago. And the interesting thing that they chose to do here is that they have a great day. They link up before the show and have a great night and quickly take the relationship back to the bedroom and share an amazing night of, of, of lovemaking. And, uh, you know, we don't know what the relationship was with them. I, you can you can fill in the blanks there if you want. But I, I think what's really done really well here is as soon as they wake up in the morning and it seems like every they're right back the band is back together again. Everything is back in stride. But Isaiah is back at his with, with the sketch pad working. And so this immediately signals to Stevie that, you know what? This shit is still the shit that I left. And she goes, you know, they have a, a disagreement and the relationship seems to be coming apart again. Uh, but she does stick around and show up to the to the show, to his uh, to, to his art show back where it all started. This this was happened to be the opening scene where they met when he only had one piece in the show. And so um, that leaves us with another great. Uh, this also kind of reminds me of the breakup to a certain degree. Uh, no comedy in this one. Um, I've talked about the breakup before with Jennifer Aniston and um, another name that I can't, man, I cannot remember these names. Um, Lorenz Tate, by the way, Darius Lovehall. Uh, Vince Vaughn is Gary and, uh, oh, look at him just coming off now. But um, we don't know what's going to happen when he comes over to, because because Adoba, Aduba, once again, gets in the way, trying to move him around to meet different potential buyers and whatnot at the at the event. And then I think it's just really well done how they closed this movie is that the, the reason that he invited her and what he wanted to show, of course, was an image. It was a painting of her. Earlier in the, in the, in the beginning, he gave her a painting that he wanted her, her to have, one that was special to him. Uh, so you knew that was going to be something that happened again. But uh, here in this closing scene, uh, some people are standing in front of this, 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 this larger portrait. And then, of course, those people, you know, they sip their wine and move on to the next one. And Stevie turns around and sees what she was invited there to see. And the, the, the image that's on there... Um, kind of clearly sends a message that you, I recognize you as my muse and, and what drove me to get here. And he already told her, you know, I'm deeply in love with you, with you. They're, they're passionate night trying to rekindle things. And, um, and then that's where we're left off with as Isaiah comes back and walks up behind her while she's admiring, you know, his work of her. And we don't, we're not really told, how this thing ends. And I really think, you know, there's only so much that you can do with a love story and with romances. Uh, you know, somebody dies, they hate each other. It doesn't, you know, we don't know what happened with Gary and, um, and Jennifer Aniston at the end of, um, the breakup. We don't know what happened with Nia and Darius. Uh, and here they kind of do something similar where we really don't know what happened. But anyway, um, uh, I like the movie, man. I, 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 I vouch for it. Uh, I hope you check it out. And I hope uh, if you enjoyed it, you know, leave a comment. Let me tell you uh, or let me know if how, what you what your thoughts were on the flick. So, again, shout out to everybody involved in that joint. I really liked it. I'm going to probably check it out again. It does have some rewatchability to it. And um, I just think it was well done. I hope to see more work. From uh, everybody, the actors, the writer, the director, uh, Angel, Angel, Christy Williams. Salute. Hey, pay me no mind. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Peace.